hey everyone welcome back to another video and welcome if you are new so today i'm going to be doing some croc print french tip nails and these are going to be like really bright kind of french tips and i've been wanting to do something super bright for a while now so i thought i'd just sit down and film it today's video is going to be a lot more like a chill easy beginner friendly kind of video just because um, I was a little bit busy so I just stuck to doing something a little bit easy and quick that you know would kind of save me time so I just decided to do my French tips today using gel polish rather than poly gel I thought it would be easier so yeah so I'm using my UNT peel off base coat and then I'm applying my 8 in 1 Born Pretty gel which is the one I just applied now and I really like this gel someone recommended it to me and it's like a new find for me and it's really really good so yeah it's just really good if you're looking for like a strong um I would say base gel I use it as like a base coat um slash something like a glue to like adhere my nail tips on because I use a peel off base and using this gel makes it so easy for the nails to just stay on when I'm filing and doing my nails so that's why I love it so much so yeah I'm just applying those and curing them and then I'm just cutting down the nails to my desired length I had to cut down the thumb again because it was just a bit long I don't know why and then I'm taking away the shine using a fine grit sanding band Next I'm just applying that base coat again to the whole nail and this is just going to help the poly gel to stick onto something that's already sticky so that way it kind of lasts longer so it's good to use a base coat rather than a top coat. Somebody did ask me if you could use a top coat. I guess you could but um, it would, I guess I feel like the poly gel would just like start to peel off afterwards because it wouldn't really stick too well i have used top coat before but um that just ended up happening and then they just didn't last for as long so if you want the nails to last and if you don't want them to like pop off when you're filing just use a base coat it's just easier so yeah i'm gonna do a pretty simple base layer i'm gonna use the one bead method and i'm gonna use a siesta which is my favorite macart nude you can use Nails by Camin, which is my discount code to save 15% off your order at Macart. Macart have also recently launched a new nail drill and some acrylic Kalinsky brushes and also a UV nail light, which is really pretty. If you guys haven't checked those items out yet, um, definitely click the link in the description box below to which will direct you to the Macart website and you can like check them out on there. It's honestly so pretty um, and I really love what they've done with like the new nail drill. So if you're looking for like a good new and really pretty nail drill, then definitely check that one out. But yeah, it's pretty much like a simple poly gel application. I'm just going to do the one bead method and I'm just kind of going down the nail. Um, and I was trying to be really quick, um, but the poly gel just kept moving a lot so I decided that I would just kind of get it where I wanted and not worry about getting it too perfect and then once I did all the nails like that I would just quickly kind of fix each nail like tidy it up before I go to cure the whole hand because there was no point in me like perfecting each nail because by the time I got to the next nail the previous nail already had like moved and it was just kind of annoying me because um, it is quite hot here in the UK right now so it's just you guys will see me like redo or like touch up the nails in a minute once I'm like completely done with the hand but yeah the the poly gel was like softer for some reason it was much easier to work with I assume because it was like hot but as you can see it's not sticky i'm using the glow tips slip solution today which actually worked out so good like the poly gel was not sticking at all and it was just easier to move it around um so yeah i really liked this slip solution so i think i'm gonna keep using it for a while and just kind of see how i feel about it but so far it's re really good so yeah just moving on to the thumb i also didn't focus too too much on my structure today just because these nails were a little bit on the shorter side um i feel like when the nails are shorter you kind of don't have to worry too much about your structure and apex um so yeah i the nails like were looking a little bit flat today but i don't think you could like really tell too much
so now i'm just gonna like fix the nails up a little bit just before i go into cure just to kind of like get the shape better and get the surface more smooth so i'm just gonna like quickly do that and then just cure the nails So I'm going to be using a bunch of gel polishes for today's design. I will link every single one in the description box down below. Hopefully they're still available. Some of these are very old. Um, but yeah, I will try to link alternatives if I cannot find the exact ones. But I'm going for like more of the bright colors today. Um, and I really like the colors I used as well for this nail design. This um, nail design was inspired by the way. I will link who I was inspired by down below. It's, um, it's someone on Instagram. Um, so definitely go and credit them for this design. So what I'm basically doing is taking this beautiful neon green and I'm doing like a French tip but this color was like super sheer so I did just ended up I did end up doing two coats but I feel like even with the two coats it was a bit like patchy so um, I could have probably done three coats but I don't think you can tell too too much so yeah I just kind of went with it and I did like a rough little outline of my French tip and then I'm just filling it in um, I kind of did I I tried to go for like a deep ish kind of French tip I don't think you can tell because the nails are kind of short but yeah that's what I was going for and then I'm gonna cure for 60 seconds and then move on to the next finger this is the yellow that I'm doing and I believe this yellow is like a really old one it's like called lime juice from glitter bells or something I haven't used this in a long time and I was just looking for a good yellow and I like this one so same thing with the yellow it was a bit sheer but I did have to do two coats and build it up so just doing a rough little outline of my French tip and then just filling that part in
and I'm just gonna be repeating the French tips to the pinky and the thumb and then I'm gonna do like this cool little kind of TikTok hack type of thing that I that I saw and it actually worked out pretty good So for this TikTok hack that I saw, you kind of just blob on um, a bunch of colors that you like and basically what you do, you kind of have to apply them a bit thick and then what you do is you get a nice clean brush and you kind of just like run it, your brush through it I guess. You can go from side to side or you can do like swells or whatever kind of um, direction you want to go in, you can go in and it should create like this cool little design and i really liked how this looked i feel like i kind of overdid it but overall this hack definitely works and i feel like it would look really good on like a rainbow nail So then I'm just filling in the sides because I feel like there was no gel polish there and then I'm kind of trying to make this into a French tip by just connecting the sides together I guess and it kind of worked. So um, again for the thumb I'm just doing that French tip but in this beautiful um, turquoise kind of colour. Then taking my blooming gel, the camera got did get cut off, but you'll see in a minute. I did apply blooming gel and then I'm doing a croc print. Again, a croc print croc prints <laughs> are so easy to do and they look really, really good on any nail design. Um, so yeah, croc prints are definitely a favorite of mine and I'm just doing that using the blue on top um, of like the green, I feel like. They were similar, but it also had, like it looked really cool to me. So I kind of kept that color combo. Um, and then for the yellow finger, I did um, the dots and I kind of brought them a little further up. So now I'm just finishing off the nails with some Glow Tips top coat and then I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds.
course don't forget to apply your cuticle oil so I'm just adding some of the Makat cuticle oil to my cuticles and then I'm gonna rub that in really good And this is the finished look. Thank you guys so so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how to do these bright and fun French tips. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys!